American scientists have been recording daily temperatures since 1895, and they've never seen a summer like this one. July was their hottest month ever. Temperatures have been soaring in Canada as well, with our warmest spring since the Second World War. But it's south of the border, where the heat is becoming a crisis. Chris Brown reports from Washington. Consider these mind-boggling facts. 63% of the United States is experiencing a drought. July was the 14th straight month of above-average temperatures, a new record. Two million acres have been consumed by forest fires in places like Oklahoma. I'm 82 years old and I've never seen nothing like it before. I've lived in this community all of my life. Here, girls, come on. Last year, Lyle McKee had 30 cows in his property. Now his field is so scorched, there's only enough grass to feed seven. It is a tinderbox. I mean, it's, uh, it's it, the, the grass crunches under your feet. Even hardy Christmas trees are wilting from the lack of rain. Temperatures are warmer, it dries the soil, worsening the drought, and the drought in turn increases the temperatures. The nation's corn crop is expected to be one of the smallest ever. From Iowa to Virginia, farmers say yields will be anemic. The heat kind of shut the pollination down on the corn. And uh, it pretty much baked the corn. That long of a stretch of months has not happened in our period of record of having temperatures this warm for that long of a period. Yesterday, the Obama administration offered up $30 million to help farmers cope. No such luck, though, for consumers. We eat a lot of filet and buffalo burgers, and I just worry with the price of, well, with the drought and the price of grain going up that it's going to skyrocket. This Indiana butcher says she's right to worry. Could go up 20, 25 percent. As is often the case with extreme weather, there are a few positives to come of this. Grape growers and winery owners aren't complaining, but they are the exceptions. Chris Brown, CBC News, Washington.